this today we're down in Canning Vale. I'd love to show you what we're doing. We're pumping in feeds into a cavity wall, the cavity seal product that I've been talking all about, and everyone's talking about. But here you can actually see it being done. Here's the remote control. Here's the feeder pipe. And if we can get a bit of a close up in there, you'll see the feeds all being filled. I'll pull this out for a second. You see that? Did you get that? Yeah, all good. Tell us what the beads do. So what the beads do, simple little beads like this. See they're quite light. What they do is they fill the cavity. As you'll see through here, we've opened up all the cavity, blocked all the cavity off so you won't get any overflow or any blowouts. What the bead does itself, it creates a thermal break in between the inner and outer skin so that the inside brick and the outside brick don't talk anymore. They lose their relationship, they lose contact. So the outside brick can get as hot and crazy or cold and crazy as it wants, where the inside brick is going to be a regulated, regulated temperature ambient to what your home temperature you set at. So that's basically how it works as a thermal break in between both bricks. What's the actual cavity shield made out of, Michael? It's a polystyrene bead, uh, very common commonly used in the uh, building industry today. Um, some of the big names use it for their uh, lightweight second story extensions. And uh, yeah, it's manufactured right here in, in Perth, which is a fantastic Australian product. So um, as you can see here, this beautiful house here is being done, which will take his uh, standard double brick house uh, from a, a 0.4 R rating up to, with the 50 mil cavity, we'll take it up to an R2. R2. So equivalent, let's just have a look at the little bit of insulation that he's already got in the roof. That's probably the equivalent in an R2 as well for a back. So, you know, that extra little bit of comfort on the walls makes a hell of a difference. You think, you turn that air conditioner on, half an hour the house has become nice and comfortable, the air conditioner will shut off. It's not losing all that air out of the, the gaps and the, the holes and it's not fighting against the walls that are 14, 15 degrees. The temperature's going to be up closer to what you set it to be. So it's starting to rain. I need to keep moving. Nice talking to you.